Hi, good afternoon. I'm Deborah with Harvesting Life's Lessons. We're discussing this week, week number two of a weekly broadcast, coming to you live and up close. Today's topic is going to be a little more sensitive, as I did tell you before. We're going to be discussing substance abuse. So if there are young ones in the room that you prefer not to have listen, then kindly escort them to another room so that you can tune in and focus. Um, we're going to be discussing uh, an email from a viewer um, that I received. She wanted to know uh, how I overcame my drug addiction and what made me um, want to share with other people. And so with that, I'm going to say, um, please don't judge. We all have difficulties that we face every day, um, some more difficult than others. So I'm just trying to pay it forward. That's always been my mission since uh, I've been clean and sober for over 24 years. I'm going to be completely candid with you. I was addicted to cocaine um, in the powder form. Not like it really matters. It's all the same. It's bad for you. It's horrible. Ruts your teeth. Makes you pick your skin. Um, makes you look 50 million years older than you really are. It does a lot of bad stuff to keep it real with you. So um, I'm blessed that I don't look like what I've been through. But believe me when I tell you, I was a hardcore drug addict. Um, because after cocaine came out, methamphetamines hit the streets in 1992. So um, we'll get into all that story later on down. You know, um, it's also going to be in my book, Her Secret Sins, hopefully coming out in 2016. I'm really excited. It's the story behind the story of why I have the vision of harvesting life's lessons. You plant a seed, you watch it grow. And then eventually you harvest it, right? And then the next season you have something better and bigger. And that's, that's the way life is. You always want to encourage somebody else. Talking too much. So tune in. Here we go. Um, to answer the viewer's question, that was my drug of choice, was methamphetamines. Um, it began to... Uh, blow out the part in my nose, uh, septum, I'm not quite sure, don't quote me on that, but uh, I couldn't snort it anymore, so I began getting creative. I would put it in my coffee and plug my nose and swallow it real quick. Um, then when that didn't work anymore, I would crumple it up. And I'm not giving you advice on how to do drugs. I'm giving you advice on how to stay away from them and again what they can do to you so back to what the viewer ha um, had asked um, uh, after that coffee incident didn't work I would um, take a little piece of bread put the wine or whatever in the bread crumple it up swallow it that was really nasty that was the last time I did that then I got smarter and I started putting the um, meth that was still in crystal powder form into capsules and I'd swallow them. Um, again, I am not proud of my past but I don't regret one single thing from my past because I learned from my past. I've learned not to judge anybody for what they look like, what they've been through, even what they're still going through. I, I have love for everybody and I mean that with all of my heart. I don't judge anybody um, because you don't know what somebody's going through. So to you that asked me that question, thank you for being so open. And that's why I don't mind opening myself up to you all. Because there are people out there with real concerns, with real problems. We have the do-it-yourselfer YouTubers, which I love to watch. That's how I learned to garden. That's how I learned to sew. That's how I'm learning to do a lot of things. So we learn from one another. So please be kind to people as you meet on the street. Um, no, this is not Sesame Street. 
but be kind to those that you meet on the street because you never know whose life, life you might impact. And um, again, I'm going to read a little portion of my first published book, A Walk in My Garden, Harvesting Life's Lessons, by Deborah Elizabeth Schrepper. It's just a simple purpose. Sometimes your purpose in life's struggles is simply to encourage others to recognize that they have a purpose uniquely designed to fit for the, just them and that may give them the strength they need to fight their own battle in life for just another day. If you know how to build a sturdy shelter, you know, like the 4-H club or whatever they used to have, the Girl Scouts, they taught you how to build a shelter. If you get stuck in, outside in the, in the uh, environment, if you know how to build a sturdy shelter, then when the storm comes, you can endure the most boisterous storms. And you know what? Your shelter will still be standing. It may not look the best after you've been through the storm, but then you can show someone else who may not know how to build a good shelter. You can show somebody else that it is possible to come off of um, methamphetamines or whatever they have their, the, the kids do these days. It is possible to keep most of your teeth. Um, after I got off methamphetamines and finally went to the dentist, I had 11 cavities. Ouch! I don't know about you, but I don't like the dentist. So, what I'm saying is, there is hope. There is hope. There is hope. And as I said in um, last week's uh, cast, you know, God loves every one of us. He loves the lowest to the lowest to the lowest. He took me out of the trash and put me on top of a mountain. But I like to encourage others. So I don't mind being down in the trash as long as I am helping somebody else. That's my mission in life. That is actually our mission as Harvesting Life's Lessons becomes and grows into a foundation where we encourage young women, especially, that have gone through some pretty deep emotional things in their lives. Stay tuned for next week's podcast, video cast, um, and we'll discuss some more topics. Feel free to email me anytime with any questions that you want to hear about. Um, I'm open. I'm an open book. My name is Deborah Schrepper, and I thank you for tuning in. Look for my contact information at the end of this video. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.